I'm back, my brothers. I'm back, my sisters. I had a lot of um, had a little situation on my phone because the enemy know that we were preaching good, and the enemy thought I was going to stop. But God said, "Oh, LT, you need to go right back upstairs, and you need to finish that sermon because someone need to hear this because something is up, and the enemy knows something is up. Look at all that pain and that pressure that you're going through. And if you're dealing with any kind of pain and any kind of pressure right now." Get ready to have your arms open because God is about to throw a winning touchdown to you right now today, my sisters. God is about to throw a winning touchdown to you right now today, my brothers. I don't know what the catch is, but you need to have your arms open. You need to have your, your hands ready because right now the ball is already in the air right now today. Look how many people has turned their back against you right now today. And the reason why the people who you thought used to roll with and right now, the same people who you was rolling with, the reason why they have turned their back against you, the reason why they don't call you no more, the reason why they don't hang with you no more, because they already know that something is up. They already know that God is about to do something in your life. And the enemy knows that. So that's why you can't do nothing but trust the word of God, my sisters. That's why you can't trust nothing but the word of God, my brothers. You are not going through that for no reason. You got to remember one thing. If there was not anything in sight, if there was not anything about to head your way, do you actually think that the enemy will be attacking you the way they attack you? Do you actually think that you be dealing with that pain? Do you actually think that you be dealing with that pressure? Do you think that you would have got laid up from your job? Do you think that you would have got fired from your job? No. The reason why you're going through what you're going through because he already knows what God is about to do. He already know it. That's why you got to remember Isaiah 43, what it says. He said, when you forget about the former things, when you're not dwelling on the pain, when you're not dwelling on the past, when you're not dwelling because you got laid off, when you're not dwelling because fake friends left you, when you're not dwelling because you got fired, automatically God's words, not my words, but God's words say that he is doing something new. And when the enemy know that God is doing something new, get ready. That's why the attack in your life is so vicious the way it is right now today. The enemy can't stand when somebody drop everything and still following Jesus. And right now, the enemy can't even stand that even though that you're under attack, that you're under attack. And even though that you got laid off, and even though that you got fired, and even though people are laughing at you, even though people are picking at you, even though people walked out of your life, that you still following God. And you still trusting him in a way that your faith is still with him in a way and that you're hoping him in a way that he is so mad right now today that he can recruit you. He is pissed off right now because he knows. He knows what God is about to bring you to. Some people right now today, they are uncomfortable with a small portion. God is about to bring you a big portion. God is about to bring you a big abundance. He's about to bring you a big overflow. He's about to bring you a big breakthrough in your life. That's why I can't do nothing but trust the word of God. Because he already done looked in your future and has seen the amazement and the great things that no eyes has seen, no ears have heard what God is about to do for you. He knows that because you got to remember the enemy was God's right hand man. So don't you think he know more than we, he knows when it's blessing time. He knows when it's breakthrough time. He knows when it's hidden time. He knows when God is about to give birth to something. And right now, God is about to give birth to your blessings. He's about to give birth to your breakthrough. He's about to give birth to your answer prayers right now today. That's why you're in the situation that you're in right now today. But do yourself a favor, my sisters. Do yourself a favor right now today, my brothers. Do yourself a favor right now today, my brothers, my, my, my every boy and girl. You continue to seek Jesus anyway. You continue to put your faith in him. You're trusting him. You're hoping him. You continue to walk with God because God is about to show up and show out in your life. My point is what I'm making today. The enemy already knows. He already knows what you're about to come into. It's blessing time. It's harvest time. It's breakthrough time. It's healing time. That's what time it is. God is about to show up in your life right now today. Get ready. Because you ain't dealing with that pressure for no reason. You ain't dealing with that pain for no reason. Every time in life you try to get ahead in life, you get knocked back down. 
And every time you get knocked back down, you get back up and wipe the dirt back off. And you still put your faith in Jesus again. And you still put your trust in Jesus again. And you still put your hope in Jesus again. What do you think when you're going through that fire? The only way you're going through that right now today because your God is about to up to something. Because if God wasn't up to something in your life, if you weren't trusting that, if you weren't having faith in that and hope in that and praising that, you wouldn't be getting knocked down the way that you're getting knocked down. You still be going your little merry way. Everything just be as fine and dandy, but it's not. I don't know who I'm talking to, because every time I try to get it here, I say, you know what? My wife and I, we were trying to plan for a trip on our seven year um, anniversary. I said, I'm going to take my wife, we're going to go to Hawaii, I'm going to do something different. And bam, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my wife, she get laid off. Out of nowhere. But I knew what it was right then and now. I didn't get upset. I wasn't even angry. I said, sweetheart, don't worry about it. We're going to be okay. She said, are you sure? I said, yes, because I serve an awesome God. I serve an amazing God. I know God going to make a way out of nowhere. So I'm not worried about it. The reason why you got laid off because the enemy thought by him getting you, he thought he's going to get to me. But he couldn't get to me because we still praising in this house. We still trusting in this house. And we still got our faith and hope in him in this house. And I knew right then and there that God was up to something. I knew right then and there that the enemy already knew because I started noticing even certain family members start dissing their way from my wife and I. And that's what God spoke to me so clearly this morning say the enemy already know. He already know what's about to come. And he is so mad because he can get you. He is so mad because you didn't fall down. He is so mad because you didn't think not. He is so mad because you didn't get disturbed by your wife. He said, you kept trusting me. You kept your faith in me. You kept your hope in me. You kept praising me. You kept seeking me. I said, glory, hallelujah. What you think I was going to do, God? God said, I already knew what you was going to do because I knew your heart. I consider you for this job. I consider you to minister in my ministry. So I already knew what you was going to do. I was going to let him know that he didn't know nothing. My point I'm making. Get ready. God is about to do something right now in your life, my sisters. Get ready. God is about to do something right now today, my brothers. Get ready to catch the winning football touch. Because God is about to throw a touchdown pass to you right now today. Get ready to catch the winning touchdown pass from God. Because right now it's on its way. I hope they got you I hope that you got your arms open and I hope that you got your hands ready. Because God is already gonna do the pass to you. Amen. Amen. And I hope that this word and I hope that this message was so clearly and helpful towards somebody today. And if it was today, shout out hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Always seek Jesus. Always praise him. Always honor him each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I close, can I please pray with y'all? Lord Jesus, I ask of you for you continue to guide us for you continue to direct us. I pray right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that, that you send your mighty, mightiest angels right now today, O oh, Heavenly Father God, for you to continue to watch over us and protect us and shield us. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always praise him. Always honor him. No matter what you're going through right now today, just remember that God is up to something and that something's coming your way. Quit. And sooner than you even can imagine, my sisters, my brothers, get ready because when you serve an awesome and amazing God, there's nothing he can't do for you. He already done it. He has already worked it out. It's on his way. Amen. Y'all continue to pray for one another. Continue to lift each other up. And please bring someone to church. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.